Hey, welcome back to another installment of Big Brother. So you saw last night's eviction, Red. Red is no longer in the house. R.I.P. Red. Hey, y'all for real though? This right here? Yeah. This goes out to all our fallen homies, yo. Come on. Hey, yo, real talk. All right. And it seems as though Red is was still kind of not sure what happened. Like he really still believed that his main man Cameron um, threw him under the bus. However, we're not here to talk about Red. We're here to talk about why I'm not rooting for everybody black. Now, typically, now I know this is gonna take some of my non-black subscribers by surprise, or maybe not, or it may take you aback a little bit, but typically I root for everybody black, no matter what it is. I'm Who are you rooting for tonight? I'm rooting for um, everybody black. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Betting on black tonight. I'm gonna root for the black person. Why? Because the black person is usually the underdog. What a joke. Y'all are not making it better for yourselves. Oh, this week's gonna be so much fun. If you retaliate, you know better than them. Howie. Do you want me to go home? They flipped our bed upside down. Tell me Especially in Big Brother, but not for the past, you know, three seasons where it seems as though Big Brother is trying to, or CBS is trying to appease a certain demographic that they didn't realize they had up until like three years ago with the cookout. Or was that four years at this point? I don't remember. But typically I root for the black guests because they're usually at the disadvantage. But why I'm not rooting for the black guests this season is because they are lackluster and not people that I want to root for. Now, honestly, I would probably gravitate to a Mimi in the house. However, Mimi is rarely on the feeds and Mimi also is rarely on the show. And since I'm not really watching both, I, it's hard to root for her. Now, when I've seen clips of Mimi and seen her on the feed, she's usually like somewhere ranting by herself in the storage room. Or, you know, she has decent takes like. Who got it going to? I'm just like, girl. Who got it going to? She's shysty. As hell. Shysty. I'm like, so did you see yourself? Why is everybody so emotional? Like, this is a game. I'm not crying. And I can totally get with that because I think I would probably be like that in the house. Like, why are y'all so upset? Y'all, why, why are you crying over somebody you met a week ago? Like, why are you crying? It's just a game. But then again, I don't know because paranoia might sink in if I got in the house. But typically, I would probably gravitate to a Mimi. And then some people might say, well, what about Sari? You know, Sari's been on Survivor, you know, five times, four times, and one Traders. Sari is not impressive to me. I don't watch Survivor, and I didn't watch Traders. So she's not impressive to me in the Big Brother house. One, she loses instantly. And I know it's not the smartest move to win HOH is up front in the game because it puts a target on your back. However, Sari is just not impressive to me. She's making a mess of the house and she's trying to vote out her allies. Like she got out Heisem. Mind you, I couldn't stand Heisem. Like I think that Heisem's attitude and just the fact that he was a doctor and I saw him as a doctor, how he would probably treat his patients. It was very cringe and just his, his dogmatic approach to the house made me not want to see him anymore. But ultimately for Sari's game, why? Like he was your shield. And then now you want to get out Miss Felicia, who's been your confidant because you think she talks too much. But Sari, you talk too much. Now, mind you, Sari is, has an ally in everybody in the house. So, I mean, I guess people might say that's playing a good game, but it's just messy because eventually your people are going to turn on you and I can't root for Sari. I just can't. And Miss Felicia, typically... I would gravitate to someone like her because she has a wild mouth and she says whatever and she has a lot of sound bites. <laughs> we can blow them candles and blow his ass out the door. <laughs> but Miss Felicia, I just don't even see it for her totally winning. She has no chance. Although she has won a, won a comp. She was HOH. 
So, and she made the big move of getting Heisen out, but Heisen was her ally. So, was that a smart move, Miss Felicia? And now everybody's turning on Miss Felicia. Oh. I mean, if that's what he wanted to do, let him, but I'm well, just But I tell him, like, yo, we got to be careful what we say to Felicia she because she talked too, talk too much. And I can't, another reason why I can't vote for, um, I can't root for Sari is her son. She comes with a handicap. And I know a lot of people are like, is Sarita a handicap or Jared's a handicap? Well, um, I just don't like Jared. And I know it's, you know, people are like, you're just a feminist. I'm not even a feminist because I don't think the feminist, whatever, the feminist group, I don't think they support black women, so I can't support them. But that's a whole nother story. But I just don't like things that Jared has said in the house. And it's not about the R word. It's not about the female word and him disrespect the women. Although that is part of why I don't like him. I just don't like him. I get a bad vibe from him. And it can't really be substantiated by facts. I just don't like Jared. And he sounds dumb a lot of times. But sometimes he has good takes. But then he goes back to his mommy. And, you know, she steers him in one direction that may not be in his best interest. However, I still don't like Jared. I just think he's dumb. I was tight and I spazzed on him today. Like, low key, I was just. You like, need to relax. And that's just where I stand on it, okay? Call it hate speech. Because I know I got warned on the CBS Paramount, Paramount site for saying stupid, but I think he's stupid. And and how about this? these showmances? These showmances are so cringe and gross. America and Corey in the real world would never happen. It just seems like CBS is pushing this on us and pushing it on them. Like America's trying to make him in, to be the man she wants him to be, she said. So she's making him grow out that gross little mustache, that porn stash, and if it even grows. And it's just cringe, like Corey's a little worm. America is just squirmish. These are the most unattractive showmances in Big Brother history. history. And I said it. They are the most, un Blue and Jared, very unattractive. That horrible dye job. Blue's not cute to me, but I'm not the target. Jared's not cute to me. He's just, he's he's gross to me. He, he just, he I don't like Jared. Those nostrils, I've said it before, those nostrils bother me. And I know people that, you're a featurist. Yes, perhaps I am. I look at features and if they don't align because I'm an artist, I get turned off. Like, I look at faces, and Jared grosses me out, and then on top of his attitude. Because typically, if you have a great personality, I might be, I might like you. But Jared, first of all, he's he's young enough to be my son, so that's kind of gross. But at the same time, Jared is kind of just an unattractive person. These showmances are gross. They're gross. Note to self, after a long day at work, I don't need to see that. They're not, nobody wants to see him on camera. No one wants to see America rubbing up against Corey. And Corey clearly doesn't want America rubbing up against her. So stop it, CBS. And I, you know, the funny thing is, back to why I'm not rooting for anybody black. Typically, I would root for the black person in the house. Even if they were bad game players. Like, what was that, seasons ago where the girl Candace. What a joke. Y'all are not making it better for yourselves. Oh, this week's going to be so much fun. If you retaliate, you know better than them. Howie. Do you want me to go home? They flipped our bed upside down. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. I just was being harassed by Gina Marie and that girl, that Grease girl. I can't remember her first name. Where they were being rude and racist towards her and said, go ahead, girlfriend, go ahead. And Howie came to her rescue. Racist remarks said to us, I have been called Shaniqua. They flipped my bed over. Start talking ghetto talk to me, and I am supposed to go and hide You're and sleep hiding. in another room. I was rooting for her because she was being mistreated in the house unfairly. You're not hide. We take this route. It's gonna be better for us. I promise you. <laughs> Come on now, please. And nothing happened back then because that was a different world that we lived in. That we lived in, like. Today, that would never fly. Gina Marie would be out that house so fast and would be on, on somebody's podcast, like, defending herself why she wasn't wrong or racist. But anyhow, I am not rooting for anybody black because they are just not people that I like. I wish Mimi would step up and be in the game a little bit more, but clearly she's not. And now, back to Cerise. She's turning on her allies. 
She's turning on Miss Felicia. She's trying to get rid of Mimi. But yet she's riding with Izzy, who is really getting on her nerves. So how long is that going to last? Hopefully this week will blow up Ceri's game. Something needs to happen to add some drama. Because yesterday they thought that like, oh, it's going to be a split vote. So it's going to get exciting now. But no, it wasn't a split vote. It wasn't a split vote. And it was almost like if it was almost um, a unanimous vote, but Cameron voted to keep red. And um, Bowie James said, had the nerve to say, oh, if you if you're watching this, I'm going to come and fight for you. Like, come on, Bowie Jane, you you're not even playing the game. Bowie Jane. Fucking Bowie Jane. Bowie Jane. Fucking Bowie Jane. And the crazy thing is, I kind of started rooting for the weirdest person in the house, Cameron. I think Felicia. I think Denzel Washington is her brother. The weirdo, the most cringeworthy person, because I can't stand the rest of the guests. And he is totally winning the comps. But I can't root for him because he's weirdo. He's a weirdo. I think she does this thing. <laughs> you got it. You damn right, that is. But, and did you notice that everybody was so angry? They were like this. Cameron won. And I appreciate that. I appreciate when people in the house will be real. Like, I don't want you to win, so I can't be happy. Although it's not to your advantage to show the HOH that you're not happy that they won because you're now a target. And that's the thing. Nobody wants to be a target. Nobody's ready to really play. Anyhow, like and subscribe.